The chant of Messi, Messi echoed around the stadium as it has so many times before but this was not the Camp Nou and it wasn't only Barcelona's small contingent of travelling supporters paying homage to the Argentinian. Betis supporters in the Benito Villamarín had just watched Messi score a hat-trick to destroy their team and all but wrap up the league for Barcelona, and what else could they do but join in the praise? Nostalgic old footballer supporters, of all club colors, will one day tell their grandchildren, once there was a player for whom being awarded a free kick was just like being given a penalty. Messi scored his first goal of the night with his fifth direct free kick of the season. He then scored his second from Luis Suarez pass and chipped in a third and a 4-1 to one win that leaves Barcelona 10 points clear of the field with 10 games left. It was Messi's 27th, 28th and 29th goals of the season as Barcelona cruised over this potential speed bump on the straight flat road that will surely now lead to the title. By the time they play that first leg against Manchester United in the Champions League last eight next month it could be done and dusted domestically. Messi's free kick goal came on 18 minutes after Arthur Melo was awarded a debatable foul on the edge of the Betis area. Betis had four men in the wall plus a fifth player lying down behind the wall in case Messi tried to roll it in. Instead he curled it left-footed into the top left-hand corner of Paulo Lopez goal. It was his 25th free kick goal in La Liga in the last eight seasons. Cristiano Ronaldo, Roberto Carlos and Ronaldinho all had great set-piece strike rates but he leaves them all a long way behind. Conceding to him on the edge of the area really is like giving away a penalty. Messi scored the second, too. This time the artistry came from Suarez. Jordi Alba fed Messi who played in Suarez. The Uruguayan was facing the right-hand side of the six-yard box and dragging the Betis defense with him. But, as if with eyes in the back of his head, he knew where Messi was and he played the ball to him to the left of the area with a deft back heel. Messi, with three green and white shirts in pursuit, scampered onto it and sent the ball past Lopez to make it 2-0. Messi had, moments earlier, gifted Suarez a chance to make it 2-0. The move had started with an incredible pass from goalkeeper Marc-Andre Ter Stegen behind the Betis defense to Jordi Alba but ended with Suarez's tame shot saved. Betis had not played badly with former Real Madrid player Hesse going close twice. The number 10, with the number 10 shaved into his hair, sent two shots just wide. Former Barcelona winger Christian Teller looked dangerous too. He got to the byline and crossed but no one could convert from inside the six-yard box with Alba getting back ahead of Joaquin. As the ball ran out to William Carvalho it looked as if he would have the chance to shoot but Messi, the artful dodger, as Terry Venables once called him, picked the midfielder's pocket and Betis were back under pressure. He was everywhere as Barcelona tried to all but wrap the league up before the international break. Suarez could have made it 3-0 at the start of the second half but he shot just wide of Lopez goal having run from the halfway line after Mandy's error. He took no more than two minutes to make up for the mistake. Why score the easy goal when you can finish a more difficult chance 120 seconds later? He twisted and turned as he powered into the area and as Mark Bartra and Mandy, and then Lopez, went to ground he hit the back of the net. Betis substitutes Diego Linus and Loren Moron combined with the latter scoring to make it 3-1 but Messi struck for his hat-trick. This time it was a delicate chip over Lopez. The keeper was not off his line but it didn't matter. This was one of Barcelona's most impressive performances of the season and it came with Usman Dembélé and Philippe Cochinu on the bench. They really could have kept that Neymar money in the bank two years ago. With Suarez who picked up a late ankle knock and could barely walk on the final whistle, and above all, Messi in this form, Barcelona need nothing more.